Within the past few weeks, there have been earthquakes in Ecuador and Japan. Those occurred on the Ring of Fire. It's a horseshoe-shaped string of more than 450 volcanoes around the Pacific Ocean. It spans more than three continents and is an indication of just how unstable the ground is. The city of San Francisco is along the boundary, leading many there to be concerned about their next big earthquake. CCTV's Mark New has insight. It's the stuff Hollywood dramas are made of. The 2015 action film San Andreas shook global audiences with scenes from a monster quake that destroys big chunks of L.A. and San Francisco. In 1906, 80% of San Francisco was destroyed in a 7.8 magnitude earthquake. Can you feel that? And in 1989, 63 people died in one measuring 6.9. There's a hell of an earthquake. You see the, all the merchants, all the stuff falling off. Uh, I remember my ma holding a Buddha, my, my wife holding three kids on the back. That's not well prepared. Then from there on, I think we better prepare for it. Emergency. When the 1989 quake struck, Tom Hoy was on the second day of his new job at the building inspection department. Today, as director, he spearheads a mandatory program to retrofit more than 5,000 soft story buildings, ones with wood frames and at least three stories and five units. You can do the seismic upgrade the whole building, but the cost will be so much, and then the tenant will be, you know, displacement is another concern. That's why we determined only to ground floor to strengthen it, then prevent the collapse of the ground floor like the 89 earthquake. That spurred into action contractors like John Pollard, who shows me details of the ground floor retrofitting for this eight-unit building, which has three floors above. See this area right here? This is called the dog air. So we sculpt out this on the steel right there to actually not make it too strong. What we want to do is be able to have the building bend. If we keep it really thick, then the building will start to snack and crackle. It's not that difficult. It's just time and money. I mean, it's just, there's a lot of components. People think, oh, you're just throwing up plywood. But as you can see, it's not. It's a two by six wall. There's a double top plate. We've got electrical. We've got plumbing going through it. We've got clips. So believe it or not, each one of these walls costs us four or $5,000. As the retrofitting takes place, the owner of this building has also decided to clear out the garage and storage space here and add four new units. That will generate extra cash flow that could help offset the cost of retrofitting in the long run. We have 10 years of work, so we currently have about 35 projects going at the same time. Innovation is also connecting seismology to Silicon Valley tech. Ross Stein, a 34-year veteran of the U.S. Geological Survey, has helped create Tembler, a mobile web app that calculates the seismic risk of your precise address. It shows nearby faults, risk of quake damage, liquefaction and landslide potential, and supplies you with a cost-benefit analysis of retrofitting. If you do it because you have to do it, you do it as cheaply as possible, right? And you wait as long as possible until you absolutely have to do it, like our taxes. So the alternative is to say, look, most of us have our biggest investment in our homes, and the most precious people on earth to us live in those homes. So we want to keep our, our families safe, and we want to keep our principal investments sound. Tembler even shows us that in San Francisco, the entire financial district and an area booming with tech startups called Soma are built on fill that provides no stability during an earthquake. Have they been aware of that? Oblivious. Yes. We all tend to ignore the earthquake peril. You know, ask yourself this. When were you at a bar where you saw the liquor bottles being restrained so they wouldn't fly off in an earthquake? If you go to Japan, you can't find a bar that does not restrain its alcohol bottles. Stein says city infrastructure upgrades since 1989 are at best half of what's necessary. Part of the reason is that higher magnitude quakes have not hit California in recent years, lulling people into complacency about precautions that could save their lives. Mark New, CCTV, San Francisco.